Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create an image gallery in Flash CS5 using ActionScript 3.0. Now, I've done this for a website, and I'll just show you that Flash file and show you the gallery. I'm going to basically do the same thing in this demo site. So here was the uh, Flash file for the website, and if you went to Gallery, you had some choices here of which image gallery you wanted to look at, custom siding, window trim, ceiling trim, and each one would load thumbnails and then you can click on the thumbnails and it will load the images here in the image viewer. So um, also if there's text you can have a uh, text for specific um, images showing here. And so I'm going to show how to code this up in uh, flash using ActionScript 3 and what we're going to do is we're going to ours is a demo site that I've created for this tutorial series and so what we're going to create is what is going to look like this this is the flash file and you'll click on gallery and you'll have your image area here and then you can click on the different images and they'll load in the image viewer and the text will change depending on which image you have selected to. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at the elements we're going to need to pull off this gallery. All right, I made a list here. All right, and these are the elements that we're going to need to pull off this gallery project. First of all, images. We're going to need a folder inside our, inside our website folder called images. Then inside that images folder, you're going to need another folder called thumbs all right and inside the images folder um, inside images are correct and equal size jpegs named image 1.jpg image 2.jpg etc and inside the thumbs folder are correct and equal sized thumbnail jpegs named image 1.jpg image 2.jpg etc so let's take a quick look at that all right so if i bring up that folder all right here's my folder that has my whole flash website in it there's the flash file right there there's the flash movie and then here is the images folder and inside the images folder I've got image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 image 5 they're all JPEGs they're all equal sized inside this thumbs folder notice the folders named thumbs I've got the same exact names and this is important because this is going to be coded this way these are thumbnails so they're tiny little images and they're also named image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 image 5 okay so um, that's important is that they are the same names um, these are thumbnails so if I hover over it let's see here you can see how big it is or we'll go to properties and you'll see that this image is let's see if we have some dimensions here details this image is 100 pixels wide by 67 pixels tall and notice that all of these are 100 pixels wide by 67 pixels tall right so I all of these are tiny little images that I already previously sized correctly in Photoshop so you're going to need to make little thumbnails. These are 100 by 67. And then my images, these images, are all, let's see here, go to Properties, we'll go to Details. These are all 620 by 413. 620 pixels wide, 413 pixels tall. So all these images are equal size. Now, you can have different sized images, but I like to just keep it uniform to make everything look pretty good for the gallery. Okay, next, you're going to need to have a text file with numbered images, um, numbered image descriptions to go with the images. So if there's going to be text to go with your images, why don't you make a text file and put a little description and then number them to go with your images. Uh, then movie clips. We're going to need to make some movie clips in Flash for this thing to work. And we're going to need four of them. We're going to need to have the loader MC named loader MC, and this is actually inside of this movie clip. There will be a, a flash component called a UI loader, right? And this will be for viewing the images. We're going to need a thumb holder movie clip to hold our thumbnails. We're going to need a image text movie clip 
uh, for um, the text to display the text that changes with the images. And then we're going to need another movie clip called Output Text, and this is for um, just troubleshooting. And now I'll show you these four movie clips, right? So Loader MC, Thumb Holder, Image Text, Output Text. Notice the capital letters. You're going to want to have those specific, right? So it's uh, Loader and then capital MC. And let's go see those on the timeline. So on our stage, I'm going to show these to you. This right here, if I select it, is the loader MC movie clip. Look up here in the property window. You can see I've given it an instance name, loader MC. And actually, I've got a lowercase c here in the instance name. Okay, so it's loader capital MC. And then over here, um, this is um, image text. This is where the, the text for the images goes. And you can see here the name, the instance name. Right here, this one is output text output and then a capital text file and then this is actually not a movie clip this is actually just a TLF uh, text box so it's not actually a movie clip it's a TLF text box and this one is a movie clip notice it says movie clip this one says movie clip and then over here this one says thumb holder and this one is invisible you can't even see it here until I click on it right so you wouldn't even know it's there but there it is I select it and when I select it, you can see the instance name here, Thumb Holder. And that's a movie clip, right? Okay, so let's go back to our text file and clarify that. This is Loader MC with a lowercase c. And then this output text, this is actually not a, um, that's actually not a movie clip. This is TLF text box. Okay, that's a TLF text box. All right, so we'll just say that's the, th the next thing that we need. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to need our code. And our code is going to be written in ActionScript 3. And all the ActionScript for the image gallery will be on a keyframe equal to the gallery um, in the movie. So if we look at it and we see here, this is our timeline right here. And these are our, the timeline. You can see here is where the gallery shows up, right? Not here on the About page but here on this keyframe, right, and you can see I've got the actions layer here, and there is the keyframe, and if I select that and I open up the actions window, this is all of the action script to make that gallery work. It's actually not that much, and so it shouldn't be too hard to do. And so we're going to go over how to write this action script code, also how to create these elements, and what you're going to want to do to start with is you're going to want to create and get your images ready to work with. So you're going to need to have your um, images folder. You're going to need your images folder and you're going to need your thumbs folder and you're going to need those elements inside there. So once again the first thing you're going to want to do is get your folder called images inside of where your website is located. Right, This is my whole website folder. The images folder inside there with your images right, all sized correctly and then your thumbs folder with your thumbnails.